Yeah, it was a fun day yesterday. Um, feel really good about the young men and their families that have joined our basketball family. Uh, you brought up Texas, so I'll start there. Um, King Grace is someone that we identified early in the process and got to know he and, and his, his wonderful family. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, he had a lot of suitors. It was a pretty uh, competitive recruiting situation. And, um, you know, I think in the end, you know, his, his relationship with our staff and in particular Coach Anwar, you know, kind of put us over the top. And uh, King's, a, you know, just a really good young person, um, lots of upside. What I like most about him is certainly he's got tons of talent, but um, his intangibles, I think, separates him from a lot of people his age. Um, he's a two-way player from the jump. He already defends at a high level, and he's very, very coachable. Uh, I've watched him get coached hard and him handle it and, and move on. And I just think he's going to get better and better uh, once he gets to college. He's got that kind of attitude and approach uh, walking in the door, which will put him ahead of a lot of other people entering college. And then the other Dallas uh, person is Cam Paul. And again, you know, we've been recruiting him for quite some time. Uh, his upside just oozes with potential. Uh, he's got length. And size, he, you know, he's a big wing. Uh, I don't think he understands how good he could be right now. Uh, he can make shots. He can get to the paint. Um, and but he's a he's a very nice kid. Uh, he and his family have been great to get to know uh, through the course of the recruitment, and uh, we're excited about him. I mean, he he can be as good as he wants to be someday. And then certainly, uh, last but not least, by any measure, um, is our, our Mississippi native, um, Jamarion, we call him Jamar. And, um, you know, Coach Brooks obviously uh, did a wonderful job, uh, you know, cultivating a relationship. And, you know, he had, you know, his brother obviously, you know, had a stint here at Mississippi State. So he and uh, his mother were familiar with uh, Mississippi State. And certainly it was a new staff that, that recruited him, or at least I was new um, to the equation. And uh, again, another uh, player that just oozes upside. You know, he's all arms and legs, and he can run, and he can make an impact from the jump defensively with his shot blocking ability, his uh, changing ends both offensively and defensively. He's an emerging offensive player, uh, and he's you know, a wonderful kid. That's the thing that sticks out the most is the quality of people that uh, we got joining our family, and it means a lot to me. You've heard me talk about the health of our locker room being uh, at its best since I've arrived anyway, and maybe any team that I've ever had. And, you know, now that we've got a taste of that, we're trying to continue that with, uh, you know, who we, uh, you know, offer and, and who ends up ultimately choosing uh, to be a part of our, our, uh, our basketball family. Listening to your description of players and then reading the national analyst, all three of these guys seem to have not just upside, but they seem to be well-rounded. They're not just you know one-trick ponies. They seem to all have a pretty balanced game in what they're bringing to college level. Yeah, I mean some more than others, but um, you know we, we've I feel like our recruiting's gotten better and better um, since we've arrived. Certainly, uh, success has uh, something to do with that, but at the same time. You know, they're getting familiar with us. Uh, when you jump from, you know, a level I was at to this level, I, I didn't have a base of players that I was recruiting. I mean, I'm not recruiting that level of player. Um, so we, we were behind a little bit in some situations. But now uh, with the, you know, the work ethic and the diligence that, um, you know, our staff has and building relationships uh, with the younger classes, it's caught up. And we feel really good about the momentum that, that we've created, you know, on the court and certainly uh, with our recruiting situations as well. Anthony, you've landed the number one recruit in the state of Mississippi every year since you've been here. Uh, what does that mean to you, just the importance of uh, dominating recruiting here in this state and making sure the, the best players in Mississippi come here? You know, it's not something that, you know, we talk about a ton, but every coach – 
you know, talks about recruiting inside out, you know, starting in your backyard and, you know, making sure you do a, a, an excellent job, you know, within, um, you know, driving distance or your state line, if you will. And, um, you know, who knows what the future will hold, but it's been so far so good. Coach, kind of shifting gears a little bit, what are your early impressions of Utah so far? Early impressions are uh, very impressive. Um, gosh, they're um, playing great. You know, they've had no um, adversity at all. They've um, breezed through their, their first three games and did it with um, some flair. I mean, they're breaking all kinds of records for their university, for their program, uh, for three-point shooting. Uh, I think they've made 52 threes, if I'm not mistaken, in their first three games, 19, 19, and 14. You know, and we thought, you know, we, we had some big nights uh, coming out of the gate, and it pales in comparison to what they've done, you know, on the floor. And, um, you know, it starts there. I mean, and, and more importantly and more impressive is the fact that, you know, how they share the ball. I mean, gosh, they're – I don't know what the percentage of uh, baskets are assisted, but it's it's as good as anywhere in the country. I think it ranks in the top two, two or three, if I'm not mistaken, in assist rate. So uh, it, it's not just one guy. They got multiple guys that are knocking them down. And, you know, when you're sharing the rock like that, you know, they must like each other and feel really good about about each other. And um, But I think we're probably both in the same boat in that, you know, the competition for both of us, you know, is, is going to go up a couple levels, and I think uh, their staff probably feels the same, that they're anxious as we are to, to play and someone that, you know, is a Power 5 team and see where we are. Back to Dave. Uh, back to the recruiting there. Uh, do you still have room for other additions, and are you going to save those for spring or looking at the portal, or, or what are your plans right now for the roster as you go into the next phase of recruiting? You know, recruiting never stops. Um, it's a constant battle, and, you know, the – Signing period isn't over yet, obviously, and we're still involved in some situations. But, um, you know, we'll just see how it plays out. Danny Keehan, Badger. Coach, how did the game in South Haven, how did that come about? And uh, somewhere you haven't been before. I think the program's played there before. So just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we've been, you know, uh, playing in different parts of our state since we've arrived. I think that's important. Um, to be able to take the game to the fans, if you will. We certainly uh, ask and urge them to come support us all the time in Starkville. And we know that our fan base is spread throughout the state. And a lot of our folks have to travel uh, to and from Starkville to support and watch. And it's nice to have the opportunity to, uh, you know, move it around at different areas of the state. And I think this year, obviously, with playing in three different uh, locations besides the hump, in our state, you know, it's putting actions into words and um, just thrilled to, to be able to do it. I, I've never played uh, in, in this arena, Landers Center, I think it's called, and I'll get up there on Saturday and uh, we'll get a chance to, you know, get familiar with the surroundings, et cetera, the, the night before the game and then have the shoot around the morning of the game. So I have a couple opportunities to get in there before uh, we actually play the game, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, following up on that, obviously, uh, Cam Matthews has been in the program for five years now, and he's from the area, uh, from Olive Branch. What, what, uh, how, is impo how big is that for him to get a game that's basically in his hometown so he can have a bunch of fam uh, family and friends there? Yeah, I'm getting nervous about it already. I'm, I'm sure uh, I'm going to get a, a text or a phone call from Miss Ruthie here this week and asking about tickets, et cetera. So we'll see how that all plays out. But I'm excited for him to – uh, you know, go home, if you will, and, and play in front of his family and friends that have supported him, uh, you know, for, for five years. You know, I see him at almost every game, and there's not just one of them. There's usually a contingent of Matthews that are supporting Cam, and I've got to know his family, and they're a wonderful family. And the fact that we get to do that, I'm sure it'll be a, a special afternoon for Cam and his family. Any other questions? 